We want to turn now to another breaking story this morning, a possible new terror attack in Canada. A man stabbing a police officer, then ramming into pedestrians with a truck during a high-speed chase. And Ron is here covering that story. Ron, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, uh, Dan and Paula. These are actually two separate incidents, hours apart. They happened Saturday night, the ramming of the police uh, barricade, and later the vehicle mowing down pedestrians. Police say it was one suspect that did this, and that the motive appears right now to have been terrorism. It happened near Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, where a Canadian League pro football game was being played. Officials say the suspect, driving this white car at a high rate of speed, barreled through a police barricade outside the stadium, striking a police officer. That driver then got out of the car and went on the attack, stabbing a police officer several times. Police on the scene were able to identify the driver from the vehicle's registration. The male suspect stabbed the officer several times before fleeing the scene on foot. Several hours later at a police checkpoint, officers stopped a U-Haul moving truck and noticed the name of the driver on his license was similar to that of the suspect they were looking for. The U-Haul truck, truck immediately fled, fled the scene and was pursued by police officers towards that downtown Edmonton. Police say the driver of the U-Haul truck then took off, intentionally running down pedestrians along the way. At least four people on the street were struck. They are now being treated at a hospital. Officials say the two incidents are related and said they also found this flag, what they described as being an ISIS-like flag, displayed on the dashboard of the car that crashed outside the football stadium. They are investigating the incidents as a solo act of terrorism. And the suspect now in police custody, he has not yet been identified. Canadian law enforcement officials say they had no information about any imminent attack. That officer who was stabbed, he is expected, though, to survive. One piece of good news. Ron, yeah. thank Ron. you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.